update to a story we first brought you a few weeks ago. It's about the giving machines. Well, the vending machines provide a unique opportunity for people to help out charitable organizations. You can spend as little as five bucks or more than 100. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey is live from Fashion District Philadelphia with more. Good morning, Wakisha. Good morning, Jim Janelle. What a great initiative here, and it's always a great time to give. And we're here in the Fashion District, and as you can see, it is quite festive here. We have our beautiful carolers. And it's all about the spirit of giving. And as we've been mentioning, these giving machines, they're not going to be here forever, are they? And we got our good friend Kate joining us again this morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having us. The giving machines will be here through Sunday, December 3rd. So get to the Fashion District. Well, it's for people who don't know what these giving machines are. How did the initiative start and what is that all about? Well, it started in 2017. The work that it has done worldwide is phenomenal, but it's vending items for charity rather than vending candy bars and snacks. And of course, these go to not only national charities, but also local ones. And we've got our friend Sarah here from Interfaith. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for being with us. And tell us, you guys are on the receiving end of a lot of these donations. How important is that? So important. I mean, we at Interfaith Philadelphia are bringing people together to dare to understand each other. And us and the 97 zones of peace organizations, some of which are represented in the machine, really, really rely on the support of the community to be able to do our work. So. Yeah. We're so appreciative. And we know, Kate, uh, there have been so many different organizations they can donate to, some as low as five, a hundred dollars. Do you have any tallies for us? We all want to know how many goats. We've <laughs> had 56 goats purchased, 264 chickens, over 4,100 meals, many, many glasses of milk. It's been very exciting. And you know, of course, you never know who you're going to actually see here. And I believe we hear someone I see. Oh, it's Santa. Look at who's in the building here. We have Santa. Kendra, you said Santa was going to show up for us today, and he's here. Yes. So tell us, how important is it to have a diverse Santa, especially during the holidays? It's extremely important. You know, even among Santa, you know, to have that diversity and representation. I mean, we're in Center City, Philadelphia. It's extremely important. All right. And Santa, you got to say something to the little boys and girls at home watching. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and there you have it, you guys. So as you can see, we're having a lot of fun here at the Fashion District. And like I said, you just never know who you're going to see. And it's always all about the spirit of giving. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. Santa's probably trying to figure out, how do I get these goats on my sleigh? <laughs> 56 goats so far. That's impressive. And there's still time to get. Hey, Santa, we're all hoping that we made the nice list this year, Mr. Claus. <laughs> Looking good. We appreciate him and the carolers getting up uh, early to spend some time with us this morning, all for a really fantastic organization. Thanks, Wakisha.